Indewo, hello. Keduki Mere, how are you doing? Adi Uma, or you can say Adi Ma, which means I'm doing well. Thanks for joining me uh, as I do just one quick video about 10 more words on the category of arts and entertainment regarding the Igbo language of Nigeria, the ancestral tongue that I've been learning for a little bit over a year. So as always, you're my honored guest and thank you for learning uh, with me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do this really quickly and uh, call it a day on these 10 quick words. So again, we're talking about arts and entertainment. Of course, that's my picture in the glasses from 2018, again, from my first trip to Nigeria with four uh, fellow preachers, young preachers at the time that are still active in uh, the ministry and doing their best to serve God. Wish you God speed as always. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first is going to be the um, genre of music called blues that started down in the Mississippi Delta here in the United States. Uh, but the Igbo word for that would, would be buliuzu for blues. Again, it's buliuzu blues. Say it one more time slowly. You can say it with me to practice. It makes it easier because what I'm learning is that your mouth doesn't always cooperate with what your mind is thinking. So just like athletics, you have to have muscle memory. So repetition of doing something makes it more natural to you. So again, blues is buliuzu for blues. And again, the only thing that's kind of different than the English language is the I character. It makes an E sound. So that's why you're hearing me saying buliuzu, buliuzu, blues. All right, uh, caption, I don't have the literal translation, how to break down the words individually, but uh, this is one I just kind of, you know, memorize. So to say caption, you know, like little things that pop up on your screen when you're watching TV, for instance, uh, it would be inde poti si okwu. And I'll say it slow. Inde poti si okwu is caption. And again, you're going to have two special things to keep in mind with this. Again, like I explained to you in other videos, that Igbo is just like English, uh, where if you combine two words, many times you're going to have to drop a one of the vowels or some of the letters, like we say in English, we call that contraction, like do not becomes don't. And Igbo does that quite a bit. So in this one, you would drop the uh, A out of the uh, two words. And that's why you hear me saying, Inde poti si okwu, instead of inde pota isi okwu. So in other words, again, to make the make it sound the the uh, way that natives would say it, it would be inde poti si okwu, which is caption. Again, one more time slowly. Inde poti si okwu, caption. Okay, carnival, and I picked one of uh, the. Um, Pictures off the internet that are from the uh, famous carnival, annual carnival that's held in Calabar, Nigeria. I uh, didn't go to carnival, but did go to the great city of Calabar and enjoyed it myself in my first trip uh, to Nigeria. Of all the cities that I really am um, partial to, that I really like is Calabar, Port Harcourt, Uyo, and uh, Leaky, which is a suburb of um, Lagos. So those are the big places I've been to. And if it wasn't for the COVID crisis that we had today, uh, this year, that is, that prevented my trip, I would have flown into Abuja and would have been able to see that central area of Nigeria, which, of course, is the capital. So I hope we have to do that on the next occasion. Good Lord sees fit and see more of the country there. Uh, so to say carnival would be Ingayari Ingosi Carnival. So again, Ngayari Ngosi, carnival. So what you got to look out here in this word is that you have um, some special characters. Uh, GH is one character and it has like a Y sound. And of course, you have the I character with the dot underneath. It's called a diacritic. That dot underneath gives it a different uh, pronunciation. So that's more of a high E sound like E, 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 like ink, ink, ink. And then you have the regular I at the end, which is an E sound. So you have to be careful with this word a little bit. Just take it slow. So again, it's 
Ingayari Ingosi for carnival. Again, Ingayari Ingosi carnival. All right, cast, you have to put three words together like the cast of a movie. In this case, so it would be Indi Mere Inkiri for cast. And we'll go slow with that one because I can uh, break this one down word for word. word. So Indi, the first word is people. Mere means doing and you're describing what they're doing. Inkiri, which means a movie. So you're literally saying people doing a movie, which in English translates to cast, the cast of a movie. So Indi Mere Inkiri cast. Okay, choreographer, the one that coordinates all the dance moves, dance routines, uh, very similar to English, uh, just almost like you're saying the English word with an accent to it. So it's choreographer for choreographer, choreographer, choreographer for that is. So again, it's choreographer for choreographer. And the only special character to look out for, again, is that I, which becomes a, an E sound when you pronounce it in English. So it's choreographa, choreographer. Okay, actress. Actress. If you remember from the previous video, ome, that second word means actor. And so to change it into actress, all you're doing is adding the word for woman in front of it. So it's wanyome. For actress, wanyi me actress. I'll say it real slow. Wanyi is the first word that means woman, and ome means actor. So you're saying woman actor, which in English simply you would say actress. Uh, the first word, uh, the NW, you basically are dropping that N. That's why you just hear me saying more of a W. And of course, you have that I diacritic again, so that gives an E. So wanyi ome. Actress. So Wan Yi O Me is actress. Okay, just a couple more, a few more that is. For classic, it would be classiki. Classiki for classic. And of course, you had the eyes, which make the E's, you know how those double eyes there is basically saying elongated. So it's classiki. Classiki for classic. So again, classiki, classic. Comedy, uh, there's a special way of pronouncing it. You drop the O. So you have that O with the dot underneath, which is a diacritic. That gives you the aw sound, like auto. And then again, you have that I diacritic at the end, which is an E sound. So again, you're dropping the regular O, you know, using the pronunciation of the letters the way we pronounce them in English, obviously. Then it's not the way you pronounce them in Ebo, just to keep it as simple. So comedy would be Intachi. For comedy, intachi comedy. Again, intachi comedy. So again, intachi comedy. Commercial. It's almost like English, uh, but with an accent to it. And again, your special character is that O with the dot underneath it. That gives you the all sound, that O diacritic. So it's kamashalu for commercial. Kamashalu commercial. So again, Kamashalu commercial. Okay, composer, the last one before we end is Onye Na Ede Egu composer. And again, it's made up of three words. When you're talking about a person, you normally start with the word Onye, which is that uh, first word. And then you describe what they're doing. So Na Ede. Those two uh, words there in the middle, hyphenated. Naede means to write. And egwu means music. So basically to say composer, you would use three words. You're saying the person writing music, which is composer uh, for short in English. So it's onye naede egwu, composer. So again, thank you. Imela, that means thank you in Igbo. And definitely want to uh, bid you a good afternoon. Umbereyama. All right. And again, uh, goodbye means kachifo. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining.